All right, uh, welcome back. This is Echo Papa, and this is Virtual DJ 8's Virtual uh, Folders Part 2. Now, this uh, we've already learned about virtual folders, and this one is just going to be an exercise. We're just going to go ahead and build one as if we were going to do an event. So let's get right into it. Um, let's go ahead and uh, make our first virtual folder. Uh, let's say, what kind of event can we have? Let's say um, uh, your, your local bar is having uh, 80s night. Okay, so we'll call him, uh, uh, we'll say Bob's Bar, 80s night. Okay, here it is. Let's go ahead and move it up here so we can, we can see it nice. We can work with it. First, we're going to go ahead and let's uh, add some directories to it, some uh, virtual directories underneath it. Go ahead and select it. Go ahead. We're going to put one in just for um, requests. Say okay. Select this again. Now, Keep in mind, if I were to uh, leave this selected, and I were to, to click here to create a virtual folder, it will create it another one inside of requests. And uh, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. You can uh, nest as many directories as you want. But let's go ahead and go. And let's do another one. Let's say um, uh, slow songs. Do another one, we'll say dance songs. Then let's do one more. Let's say, um, oh, I don't know. Uh, how about, let's say, about this waitress. Some bars will do like we're at the top of every hour, the waitresses will dance or something. So let's, let's say they're going to do that. Something special they're doing just for 80s night or, you know, who knows. Um, so let's go ahead and start off with that. Uh, the waitresses have called you up. They said they're going to do a, a dance at the top of every uh, hour to try and you know boost tips. You know who knows. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get some songs for them. Now uh, I've went ahead and um, these yellow folders right here that have the the stars on them. These are basically they're just they're basically bookmarks. These directories are real directories. Uh, if you click on them. Uh, this is you can see these are real directories and uh, anything you do to them will happen to the actual directory that's uh, that's physically on your hard drive but um, what this yellow thing is it's just it's just a bookmark so that way you know you don't have to go dig through you know C directory music directory find the directory it's in and find the thing you know it's just if you're in that directory all the time like uh, like slow songs see I got some, a bunch of slow songs uh, in here by by different genres the um uh i i just made a shortcut to that that directory so that way i wouldn't have to keep you know digging for it uh in this case i went ahead and i have one for slow 80s and i just went ahead and made a shortcut for it uh just for this so let's throw um uh, since we're, we're in slow let's go ahead and put some slow songs in there let's pick some random stuff take it drag it that's going to be our slow songs for the evening. Now if we click slow, there's our slow stuff. The waitresses, they want some stuff. So let's click on This was we'll type in 80s. Now when I click 80s, it's, uh, keep in mind, it's just searching for stuff that say 80s in it. And I got some albums that are, you know, like here's one that's pure 80s and there's 80s pop hits and, and stuff. So it's, it's, it's not really bringing up songs from the, the 80s so much as, you know, it just finds the term 80s somewhere uh, in the title of the artist you know uh, and you can set where you want to search you know you don't have to if you want to only search the title you can uh, click over here the search options and uh, you can select what you want what fields you want to search and which ones you want to leave out uh, which can be handy because if you get too many fields in there it can bring you up a bunch of crap results that you don't care about so uh, let's say the waitresses they're going to dance to uh, bad to the bone black velvet wings okay so this is the song request they gave you so you went ahead and put them in a directory just for them so that way uh, uh, on three different tops of the hour they're gonna dance these songs so that way you have them and they're there for you when you need them uh, so dance songs you know what let's go ahead and let's add another directory underneath here we're gonna put a subdirector in here we're gonna call it 1983 okay and see, here we go. So we actually have our main our main virtual folder 
our sub virtual folders and then another sub virtual folder inside of there. So let's find songs from 1983. Uh, if I type in 1983, songs from 1983 should, uh, should show up. Um, also, in, just as, as a reminder, because I have year uh, selected here in my options, um, it's going to search for 1983. So if you're going to search for a year or, or anything, make sure that you have that field selected that you're going to want to search for. So um, in this case, I actually have a lot more stuff from 1983, I'm sure, but most of the tags are are just wrong. So we'll go ahead and select some stuff, drag it to our 1983, and you could do you can throw throw in a whole bunch of different stuff in here. So, okay, so now we got our songs. So when we go to our event, um, and we uh, for that night, you can set up a whole bunch of them. Like let's say you're doing Bob's Bar, you know, on a, a Thursday night, it's their 80s night. You know, on on Friday you're you're going to be at you know Club X Y Z, and uh, on Saturday you have a wedding to do. On Sunday you're doing somebody's backyard barbecue. You can make you know their request list and all these things. And then when you get to it, you know, uh, here's your songs ready to go. Say, oh, 1983. We're gonna go ahead and you know throw that in there. We'll play it. Um, do whatever request list. Usually a request I'll leave blank, and that's just for request at the event. So that way, when some dude comes up and says, "Hey, it's the 80s. Let's you know play me a Billy Idol song," you know I can uh, put it in there and say, "Oh yeah, Billy Idol." You know here I'll uh, put it in there. So that way later on when I'm looking for a song, you know I'll go to, "Oh well, what requests have people made?" You know Billy Idol. Okay, well we'll play that for him. So, and then more wage songs, whatever. So, and then when the event is over and we're not going to be using these anymore, then I just take it, delete virtual directory, say yes. The whole thing is gone. I don't have to worry about it anymore because I'm done with my event and I don't have it cluttering up my, my browser anymore. So, anyway, that is part two for uh, virtual folders. Um, if you liked it, please select uh, like. If you really liked it, share it with your friends. Uh, and next time we're going to talk about filter folders. Filter folders are they're awesome. Uh, if you haven't messed with them before, they're they're great. Basically they're like they're kind of like a, a virtual folder where you would put in this case like our 80 songs. But this way and, and uh, these folders, it's going to do all the work for you. You don't have to look for it. It's going to uh, actually find those files. So anyway, uh, that's it for me. My name is Echo Papa and I'll talk to you guys later.